What's good, people? I'm Coach Chris, and in this video, I want to cover three tips to finding sponsors. I want to give you three tips for finding sponsors. Now, I want to say that these tips don't guarantee you get sponsored. That's like my disclaimer. This is not a guarantee your podcast will be sponsored, but this is a way you can find the people that you want to work with that you would want to work with you like this is definitely um, a great strategy because it's worked for me multiple times right so number one is to find companies that are sponsoring this is important because if they're already sponsoring that means that this company is already putting money into podcasting that means you don't have to convince them right like it's nothing more complicated than like trying to convince them, hey, you should put your money into this podcast because da 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 da. Like if they're already sponsoring, they're already they already believe in the market. Like if you already work out, it'll be easy for me to sell you workout clothes or protein shakes, right? But if you don't work out, it'll be hard for me to convince you to start working out. It's like no, it's not. Like, no, like Beyonce put Ivy Park is going to get some girls to work out, but you not Beyonce. So you need to go to the companies that are already sponsoring people, uh, sponsoring podcasts. And here's one of the best ways you do that is listen to the high, I guess, highest rated shows in your market. And one thing you'll notice is that the ones that are at the top of the charts on iTunes more likely than not, they have a sponsor. And that sponsor is paying them anywhere between $1,000 a month. And I know some podcasts that are bringing in like five, $10,000. This is insane from just sponsorships. Like companies will pay that money. But you got to figure out who the companies are. So listening to the uh, shows in the top of your market is important. Also, because if you listen to shows in any other market, you might find sponsors that don't fit your show or your type of show, right? Now, if you're in the health industry, Blue Apron, big, right? They're huge in the market. And Blue Apron is obviously somebody that you might want to, you know, uh, work with here in the health industry. We know that they sponsor some shows because we've seen them sponsoring YouTube channels and certain podcasts. So you can believe in that one. But if you're in the health industry and then you look at some entrepreneurship podcast and you see, Oh, they have Squarespace and um, some other companies like QuickBooks. Like that might fit depending on how you position it and how many listeners you have. But overall, you don't want to go with that strategy. I promise you, it's not smart. Just go after the shows that are already in your market. You're going to learn a lot more that way. Like very simple. Just go listen to them. And sometimes what you can even do too is... Um, Damn it. Wait a second. There we go. Reach out to the host. Like, reach out to the person that's running that market, that's running those shows. Because then you'll get to see, like, okay, this is who, this is who they're sponsored by. This is how they got the sponsor. Most people don't want to tell you, but you'll run into some people that will. So, my next tip is to send emails. And call. Like when I find companies I want to work with, I am relentless. Because if I want to work with you, then I'm going to make sure it's clear to you how important it is to me that we work together. So you might not think it's important or you might not take me serious, which a lot of companies do. Again, if they don't sponsor a lot of podcasts, they're going to look at you like, nah, well, I don't really care to work with this guy. We don't know him. Leave it alone. But you got to be relentless with it. Like, two emails a week till you get a response, call them on the phone, build that relationship, man. That's very, very important. Be relentless. If you just give up from them not answering you one time, they don't, they know you don't care. They probably won't even believe you were actually serious. I know that was a basic tip, but it, 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 trust me, it's going to help you. <laughs> My last tip is local businesses. These are smart because there a lot of local small businesses aren't big chains. Like, if you reach out to a Nike, it's going to be hard because Nike is global, right? But if you reach out to the store down the street from your house that you've been going to for years, you let them know you can help them reach all the other kids in the neighborhood, all the other people in the neighborhood or something like that. 
then they're going to immediately, okay, well, they'll take you serious because they know you, right? So local business isn't a bad idea, right? Like just reach out to them. And with local businesses, the most important part is start the conversation. You need to talk to them about having you as, or you having them as a sponsor. You need to talk about what they can afford and just ask them, like, be straight up. Just type down straight up. What is your monthly advertising budget? And you want to know this because then you know, okay, that most small businesses that are local don't really put a lot into advertising. But at the same time, if you ask these companies and you know you have an audience for them to really be in front of and some value to provide, they're gonna tell you what their budget is. They'll be willing to work with you on something. You know, they'll be willing to help you out in some some area, right? So these are three basic, basic tips to getting you as a podcast sponsor. This is really where you should be starting. You know, finding the companies by checking out the other, you know, uh, other people that are sponsored in your market. Um, also doing, doing a little bit of work in, you know, you want to send them emails, call them. Many times you have to, for local businesses, you can even go to the spot. You should go up there, let them know, hey, I have a podcast. It's for this audience. It's perfect for you. We're growing in the area. You can drive a lot more business here into your website. Man, they'll be waiting in line for you. This is very important. Now, I didn't want to get into too much on this video because in the next video, I got to talk about getting paid what you're worth. And I want to break down exactly what you should be charging for these deals. See you in the next video.